top of the morning to you. Today I want to bring you the Irish Spice Bag, which is something Sarah and I stumbled upon when we were in Ireland. And we love Irish food, but by day seven or eight in Ireland, we were getting a little tired of it. So we popped into this hole-in-the-wall Chinese place, got in line. By the time we got up to the counter, I noticed everybody before us had been ordering these spice bags. So we got one of our own. And a spice bag is basically Chinese fried chicken, some sauteed veggies, and a bunch of potatoes, because every meal in Ireland has a bunch of potatoes. It's all thrown into a paper sack, and you walk out the door with it. It's a delicious thing to eat on a night out hitting the pubs, and we're gonna show it to you today. So let's start with the potatoes. So, cut the ends off your potatoes and peel them up. I like to pretend I'm in the Navy, down in the galley, South Pacific somewhere, just peeling taters. These are technically Irish chips, which are slightly different, I learned, than American French fries. They just tend to be kind of a thicker, chunkier cut of potato. And as soon as you cut these, you wanna throw them into some cold water just to keep them from turning brown and tasting bad, which they'll start to do pretty much immediately if they're not in some cold water. But fries and chips, both are a huge pain in the nards to do at home. That's why they're so great to get at a diner, let somebody else deal with it, because they really need to be at least twice cooked, and these are going to be thrice cooked. Agitate them a little bit, we're washing the starch off the potatoes for a better cook. Then let's scoop these out into some fresh cold water, add a little bit of salt, and take these from cold to boiling. And as soon as those go to a boil, you can let them boil for two or three minutes, and then take them off of the heat, put them on a cooling sheet, and let those cool down completely for like 30 minutes. So go ahead and cube up some chicken breasts and thighs, mince some garlic on top of it, and throw in about a tablespoon of soy sauce, and a half teaspoon of sesame oil. And just give this a good mix. And let's get a spice blend going. We want a teaspoon or two of Chinese five spice, a half a teaspoon of kosher salt, a bit of pepper, teaspoon of red pepper flakes, and a teaspoon of sugar. We're also going to need some sauce. For the sauce, we want a half a cup of soy sauce, a couple of tablespoons of ginger paste, some minced garlic, third of a teaspoon of sesame oil, quarter teaspoon of kosher salt, six tablespoons of honey, quarter teaspoon of coriander, and a quarter teaspoon of our Szechuan pepper that we're gonna grind up in our mortar and pestle here. Might have to go to a couple different grocery stores on the hunt for Szechuan peppercorns, but this stuff has a very unique taste and it also makes your lips tingle a bit when you eat it. There's simply no substitute. A little bit of fresh cracked black pepper and a full cup of water to help blend all of this together. And we're gonna put all of this on the stove top and heat it until we get it bubbling, stirring constantly the whole time. Then we're gonna stir in a cornstarch slurry made with a couple tablespoons of cornstarch and half a cup of water. And after you've stirred that for two minutes, throw in all of our acid, a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, three tablespoons of rice wine vinegar, and a tablespoon of lime juice. And if you're like me using these ceramic coated pans, it didn't really set up like I wanted it to, so I did have to transfer this into a frying pan to just expand the surface area and get this to thicken up better. And in the end, we got this beautiful, thick Szechuan sauce. Now we're just gonna slice up some veggies, a uh, half a white onion and some chili peppers here, and stir fry these in some oil for a minute or two. Now set those aside and add in some oil, because now we're gonna fry these chips for the first time. Once that oil hits 330, we're gonna give these chips their first fry for about five minutes. We're not trying to brown them here, we're just trying to get them cooked all the way through. We'll put them back on a higher heat to finish the process up and crisp them up later. Now that the fries have been twice cooked, we're gonna let that oil temperature rise up to 375, and that's where our chicken is going to cook. So add a beaten egg white in with your chicken and half a cup of cornstarch. And once this oil has risen all the way to 375, you can start putting your chicken in for about two to three minutes per piece. Now while the chicken rests a bit, let's put the fries in for a third and final cook to crisp up that outside for three to four minutes. So this is our spice bag. Now, let's throw some chips in a bag. Throw in some chicken. Don't forget some of your veggies. And just layer this all in. Chips, chicken, vegetables, and so on. Don't forget some of the spice blend we made earlier. 
Now with the spice blend in there, just give this all a good shake. And if you're at a Chinese restaurant in Ireland, they would just hand it to you like this. You take it along your way, get home or wherever you're going, and you tear into this bad boy. Now, let's sauce it. Oh, hell yeah. Perfectly crispy, so flavorful in the sauce. Chicken. Oh, yeah, just good. Hey y'all, I'm Sarah, and I'm gonna teach you the perfect drink to go with your spice bag. It's a beer. Uh, don't ask me why beer goes so well with spiced chicken or fried chicken or any chicken really. My preference is light beer, but go with your gut. Cheers. All right, we've eaten our spice bag. We've had our beers. Now it's time for the dishes. See you next time.